Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, in rendering a 3D scene, there are quite a few problems we need to pay attention to, and today we'll be looking at one of them, and that is the concept of depth testing. So here's the deal, you have a 3D scene and you have a camera, and when you say render, basically what you want to do is you want to actually look at a scene from the point of view of the camera and turn it into an image. Now, there are of course multiple objects in a scene, and depending on where your camera is, certain objects will occlude other objects. This happens when one object comes in front of another, and while it sounds simple, as it turns out to actually implement this, we need to put in a little bit of additional thought. The reason for this is because objects are sent to the renderer at an arbitrary order. That is, you may already have drawn an object very far forward in the foreground, and then you would have received the vertices for an object that is further behind. So what that means is you need to know that, for what we already have, we cannot draw the new object into the scene, because this newer object is occluded by something that already exists. Now, renderers have several different ways of dealing with this, but today we're going to be looking at just one solution and that is the depth buffer, also known as the Z buffer. This is essentially an image that records the depth of every pixel on screen. So let's say we have a depth buffer that has the foreground object we mentioned earlier. This is what your renderer tries to do before it actually renders the new object. For each pixel of this new object, we actually look at the depth buffer to see what is the closest depth we've recorded so far. As you can see, this tells us very quickly that these pixels are fine, because the depth that was recorded here is actually infinity. We've actually punched all the way through, there is nothing in the way at all. But for the rest of the pixels here, we notice that the depth of these pixels are actually smaller than the depth of this new object we're going to draw. And that is how the renderer actually determines that the pixels on the right shouldn't be drawn, while the pixels on the left should be. Of course, after we are done drawing the second object, we have to update our depth buffer, so that if we were to draw any subsequent objects, they will also be occluded correctly. This is known as depth testing using a depth buffer. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.